everybody. Today's video finds us basically out here in the middle of nowhere. We're southwest of Ayutthaya, and I came over here to check out Wat Ka Chai. And I'm just surrounded by rice paddies, and the place we're going to check out is right over here. Now, the significance of this is this was actually a, a place that the Burmese used as a fort in, uh, whenever they attacked Ayutthaya in 1767. We'll look around a little bit at it. But the main thing is, is they found the ashes here of Pra Si Sin, I think is how you say his name. He's the one that uh, kind of usurped the throne from King Narai. Yesterday I went up to Lotbury and was celebrating uh, King Narai days up there. So today I came over here to Ayutthaya to see the guy that overthrew him to take over the, the crown. So uh, let's look around and let's, uh, let's see what this looks like. what we got going on here if you could hear that noise we got a little tiny tractor here and it has a bell drive and it's running a pump and it's pumping water from one canal to the other so that they can flood their uh, rice paddies and as you can see there's just rice paddies as far as the eye can see here there's a few houses and stuff but there's not a whole lot around here this little canal is quite cool though it has the lilies and the lotuses and everything in it and then this is Wat Kachai, and we'll go look at it. There's not a whole lot here, so this will be kind of a short little video. And uh, I'll fly the drone because it's kind of cool to see kind of the area that this is in. Outside of the wall, they have this building over here. And I have no idea what it was used for. It's kind of a weird base of it. Now it's just the lottery sellers and some people that are selling a little bit of food, they kind of set up all their stuff. What's left here at this is the one big chetty, and then it has the base of five more, and then it has the base of a little ordination hall, or the obasot. Over here we have a shrine where people have came and they've left the, the strawberry fanta and the water and the orange flowers and everything. And then this is the the main chetty. Now if you look at it, the base is octagonal, which was kind of an earmark of the early Ayutthaya period. And right here, this is the base of another chetty, another chetty right there, just the base. And then they had something like a, probably like a little spirit house or something right here. Now if you look at the walls, this is the base of the wall right here and you can see how thick it is. It's way, way thicker than a normal wall would have been. And what they say is that the Burmese used this as a base camp whenever they attacked Ayutthaya in 1767. So they came here to this temple, they demolished most of the buildings, then they uh, built the wall to where it was extra, extra thick. So they were uh, preparing their defenses in case the Thais attacked them. Over here, this is the base of the ordination hall. We'll look at it here in a second. And this is the base of another little jetty. And then over here they had another little spirit house or something, a little shrine. And the people are still using this. They've rounded up part of the Buddha and they just have it sitting out here. And they actually come over here and burn the Joe stick and stuff like that. So they're still coming over here and praying to this Buddha. And it's just right here, there's a tree growing up in there. And then there's the chetty. And then over here, they have a little shrine with a female spirit. We'll look at it last. So you can see the, the base of it is definitely an octagon, which is the Ayutthaya earmark. And it's kind of listing to the north. The uh, ground is kind of settled right here. I mean, that is a massive, massive chetty. And I have no idea how tall it is. You can see it's the bell top, and they got some of the plaster, and then that little, the little spire up at the top. The very top is gone. And I don't see it laying around here on the ground anywhere. They might have uh, not excavated it, or maybe it got broke too much, and then they just used the bricks for something else. 
So here is the little ordination hall, and there's not a whole lot left of it either. You can see one of the marker stones is up there, and then you got some of the bricks that are piled up that they haven't done anything with here. Let's look up in this little thing. Yeah, here you can see the perimeter wall. So Ayutthaya is actually over that way. That's the island. But the wall is probably three times as thick as you normally would see at a temple. And then here is the base of the ordination hall. So if you could imagine some of the other buildings that I've filmed, this would have been just a little rectangular shaped building. There would have been a Buddha sitting right here, just in front of where that sign's at. And it's hard to say if there were windows in this wall, but there was probably two doors right here and it probably had like a little, uh, like a little awning on the front of it, a little porch. And it might've had an opening in the back also. It's hard to say where people could have went out the back. And then that's just the the big chetty. And then it would have had a wee hand on the other side that would have kind of gave this temple balance. Yeah, so with King Narai, he was one of the great kings back when it was Siam. And he kind of moved the capital like nine months out of the year from Ayutthaya over to Lopbury. And there was a coup in the palace because the ties that were beneath him his subordinates, they saw him getting too close with some of like the Portuguese. There was a, a guy that was uh, a Portuguese that was basically like the number two in the kingdom. He had a lot, he had the king's ear and the ties didn't like it. So they, uh, they had a little coup. They met in the church over there in Lobbury. And I believe he was poisoned. They don't exactly know, but he died. He was pretty young. He was only like 42 or something like that when he died. And then they uh, moved the capital back over from Lobbury to Ayotia full time. And then later the Burmese sacked the city. So here you have the little shrine. They, have, they believe these trees will have a lady spirit in it. And people will come over and they'll pray for like fertility. They're wanting like family and stuff like that. And then you can see, so this wall would have been quite huge. And it was uh, reinforced in case the people from Ayutthaya attacked him over here. And they used this as a camp they set up. They found a lot of uh, spear points, knives, cannonballs, everything else here at this site when they excavated it. So they know that the Burmese were using it for a base. And this over here, this is the part of the temple to the west. So this was probably the Weehan. And like I said, they, uh, they demolished a lot of it and used it to build the wall. So there's nothing left over here. And it's just right there is the Chetty. Now, while I've been here, there's actually been three different groups of Thais come over to uh, take pictures and all of that. So, uh, you know, this is kind of an out of the way place, but they still come over here. I mean, as you can see from all around me, there is uh, just rice paddies and then some houses. That's the road that goes north south over to Bangpa Inn and eventually to Bangkok if you go over that way. All right, guys, that's going to finish up a pretty quick video over here at what? Kachai. This is an interesting enough chetty. There's not a whole lot here. The main thing that's uh, kind of cool about it is the history. You know, you read a lot about uh, King Narai in Thai history. He's one of the uh, great kings and, you know, he was uh, overthrown. And it's kind of interesting that the ashes of the usurper is, you know, was used to bury him here at this temple. So uh, pretty interesting. It's just out here. I'll uh, fly the drone around and uh, give you a good look and I'll stick it in the, uh, the video some. So anyway, if you uh, like the video, make sure you click like, subscribe to the video if you're new here. This is what I do. I just go show you the things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like this kind of content, I'm out where most people aren't going. So if you want to see some uh, different stuff, if you're interested in Thailand and out of the way places like this, then uh, stick around and then you're notified when I post a new video. And leave, a, leave me a comment. If you know more about this than I do, then uh, tell me also, and, uh, or if you want me to do something different, let me know in a comment. The comments, the likes, all of that helps me. It helps get my, my channel promoted through uh, YouTube. So anyway, from over here, uh, southwest of Ayutthaya, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.